All right, friends, you're welcome back to Piano Poly, where we clear students' confusion. I'm Chris David, and I'll be teaching you what the term beat, tempo, melody, and harmony is, coupled with their importance. That is the continuation of the basic introductory introduction to the piano. All right, so before we start, you miss out on my on the first part of this video. Um, it's very, very advisable to check it out before continuing with this video. And if you're looking for it, actually, um, I place it at the description. Just check the link there, you'll see it. Um, so without wasting much of our time, let's get into it. So when you hear the term beat in music, what are we actually talking about? What is actually this beat? Now, beat is simply that's regular, regularly repeating sound or pulse we hear in music. Okay. Um, it should be noted that beats can be related to the heart. You know, saying most times you see if you touch your heart, you notice that it's beating at a regular, like um, interval. Okay, that's something like this. It's beating like this. You understand? And normally, um, the heart has two beats per second. Okay, and also it should be noted that beats or pulse occur at a regular interval. Okay, hence it's constant and it doesn't change from the beginning to the end of the music. When I mean regular interval, I mean the beat, the time, that particular time when the beat sounds should be regular. That's the space in between the sounding time, okay? So this is what I mean. Look at what I mean by regular interval, something like this. Wow. You see, it's sounding at regular interval, but something like this is not regular. You understand? It's not equally speed. What I mean, like, I mean that's a regular repeating sound that is constant, okay, all through the music. So that's what beats is really all about. Now, it should also be noted that the human body is naturally sensitive to beats. And that's why you notice that most time when you are listening to a music, subconsciously, you are going to be tapping your feet at a regular interval. That is, you are relating to the beats of that particular song. Something like this. You can see the beat. I'm tapping my feet, actually. So you notice most time when you listen to your music, you are tapping your feet. So that your feet is actually relating, corresponding to that beat of that sound. Okay. So and also you should note that um a very very good tool on the piano that help you to be to understand what this time beat is actually is is um the metronome. Okay. The metronome um this is actually the button. I don't know if you can really see it from there, but it's not necessary. So the metronome is a very very good tool that help us understanding what beat is all about. So this is how it actually works. So for instance, this this. You can see this one, two. So you see this at the beat. I'm tapping the beat, but actually you are hearing a kind of bell sound that's after four four beats, and that's actually what's called a bar. Bar is just a um, kind of series of beats, just like grouping beats. Okay, so this four beats per bar. Okay, so um, so actually each of these um claps is actually corresponding to the beat. Understand that's actually all what beats is all about, all right? So actually, I can build a song on this beat. So something like this: stand up, stand up for the champion, for the champion. Stand up, stand up for the champion, for the champion. Stand up. Now another term we're going to teach is what we call tempo. Now, tempo this is simply the speed of that beat or that pulse you are hearing in music, okay? The speed, that's how fast or slow that beat is, okay? So actually, um, if this is a tempo, if um, this is a beat, okay, for instance, now you can see the rates actually this beat is moving, but now look at this. So this is the second one, actually faster than the first one. So that's simply what tempo is all about. And when I say beat, I mean BPM, that's beat per minute. BPM stands for beat per minute. Um, it should be noted that the higher the BPM, the faster the song, and the lower the BPM, the slower the musical piece. For example, 60 BPM um, is slower than 120 BPM. When I mean 60 BPM, I mean one beat per second, and 120 BPM, I mean two beats per second. Um, actually, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I know you are kind of lost, but I'm going to pull you through everything I said. Now you're going to understand it. So all I'm saying here, I said tempo is the speed of the beat. That's how fast or slow a beat actually is. And actually, this tempo can actually be measured in BPM. Okay, is this BPM that's beats per minute that tell how fast a song is? So BPM simply means beats per minute. That's how many beats occurred in a minute. Something like this. 
how many times did I, this beat occur in one minute? It simply will call BPM. And remember, I said the faster the song, the, um, the higher the BPM, the faster the song, and the lower the BPM, the slower the song. So, um, for instance, if I count 120 beats in a minute, it's actually going to be faster than counting 60 beats in a minute. Or maybe if I count 500 beats in one minute, if I cover it in one minute, I'll actually need to move at a faster pace to be able to um, um, cover that time um, lap, okay? So if I eat 500 of these in one minute, it's going to be faster than just 60 of these in one minute. So that's why I say the higher the beat, um, beats per minute, the faster the song or the tempo, okay? And at this point, you may also be asking, are beat and tempo really important in music? And the answer is yes. Tempo have a big effect in differentiating different style of music. For example, we have pop, rock, and many more. For example, it's obvious that many songs we consider as worships or contemporary are usually played at much slower tempo than what we call praises, or I can say African praises, which are mostly played at a faster tempo, okay? Okay, for example, using this song, You Are Great by Steve Crown, let's try it in the worship um, way, that's a slower tempo and see. Great, yes, you are only one. Walked upon the sea, praise the dead. Look at the praises, it's gonna sound something like this. Great, you are. Yes, another reason why beats and tempo are also relevant is because music is all about timing and you striking a chord at the wrong timing of a song progression can disrupt the flow of that musical piece. Hence, it's necessary to flow um, the right timing and beat in a song. Um, this is what I mean. So now using the progression 6415, um, okay, on the key of C. So you're going to see on this first part, I'm going to follow the right timing and the second um, um, illustration, I'll show you when you're using the wrong time. So you're going to see why timing is very, very important in music. So this is what I mean. Wow. Now following the wrong timing is going to be something like this. You can see in the second way you can see no normal human being will be able to sing with that song because it's actually very very annoying so that's all the final part for this video is actually the melody and the harmony so the melody can this can also be seen as the lyrics of a song while the harmony can be seen as a support or backup of that melody so it's worth knowing that the harmony helps beautify the melody okay so I'm going to give you a practical example so you're going to understand what I mean by harmony and melody. So I'm going to be using the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so it's going to be like this. So if I had to break this song into two parts, actually you'll notice that what I was doing my right hand is the melody and what I was doing my left hand is the harmony. So this is actually the melody of the song. And this was actually the harmony of the song. So these two parts is what come together to form the song, okay? So these are all the basic military you actually need for a good start in your piano journey. And as you progress, you understand them more practically and hence you'll be exposed to many more in the future okay so that's all for this video before we um, shut the video down i'm going to give you a brief summary of what we did so you're going to have a quick recap of everything we did in this video so it's very very simple we treated beats this is simply that's regular repeating pulse we hear in music tempo is simply the speed of the beats okay and um a good understanding of beats and tempo help in differentiating between um different musical style and with some um, perfect time the melody is can be seen as the lyric of the song while the harmony helps to support the melody so that's all for this video if you find value in this video do it to like subscribe so you won't miss out on the mission based channel i'm going to see you in my other videos